Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Gemma Wright. I'm presenting a paper that um, has been um, prepared jointly um, by three of us from Sasbury, um, myself and Michael Noble and Helen Barnes, and two colleagues at the University of Essex in the Euromod team, Katrin Gassio and Chris Laventi. Um, it's been a um, collaborative endeavour to one of the first to put together some of the South Mod models um, together and, and look across the countries at some of the um, uh, uh, arising findings. Um, as, as, as Remy has made the case very well, the taxation and social protection systems are crucial policy instruments for governments to pursue distributional goals of reducing inequality and even go so far as eliminating poverty along the lines of Agenda 2030. Um, but informed policy decisions require um, the ability to be able to assess the distributional impact of public policies and the effects of measures on inequality and poverty, rather than um, relying on, on who shouts the loudest or what was done in the previous year. And so evidence is required on these things and also the ability to be able to undertake ex ante evaluation of reform ideas. Um, it's also important to be able to estimate the fiscal impact of pu public policies and potential reforms. And whilst researchers and policymakers in developed countries make heavy use of tax benefit micro simulation models, um, these have been used to, own, to a much lesser extent thus far in developing countries and um, people have access, uh, much less access to such research tools. There's extensive literature on the distributional impact of taxes and benefits um, internationally, but again, very few studies that focus on lower and middle income countries with some important um, exceptions cited there as examples. Um, but our contribution, and intended contribution in this paper is to um, look not just on at consumption but also and and more explicitly at different income concepts and to pull together six state-of-the-art micro sim models that have been developed or updated in this as part of the south mod project we assess the distribution and composition of incomes and the effects of taxes and benefits on poverty and inequality in six african countries for a common time point um, of June 2015 for five of the countries and one day later for Tanzania, which has um, a tax year that starts on the 1st of July. But these six models draw um, um, on local national household surveys. Um, they've been developed by and as part of a collaboration with UNU wider Southern African Social Policy Research Insights, the Euromod team at the University of Essex, and, um, and local country teams, many of whom are present in the room. Um, all of the models are underpinned by the Euromod software, um, which has been developed over a 21-year period for countries in the EU and provides a common platform and very well-tested methodological approaches. It's extremely flexible and freely available um, and provides a shortcut or a head start in the process of building tax benefit models. Our analysis is based on three low-income countries, Ethiopia, Mozambique and Tanzania, two lower middle-income countries, Ghana and Zambia, and one upper middle country, middle income country, South Africa. And um, the surveys we use for Ethiopia, it's the Ethiopia Socioeconomic Survey 2013-14. The Mozambique MOSMOD model uses the Household Budget Survey 2014-15 for two quarters. The Tanzania um, model, TASMOD, uses the Household Budget Survey 2011-12. The Ghana model, GARMOD, uses the Ghana Living Standards Survey, GLSS 6, for 2012-13. MicroZAMOD, 
as you have heard from Remy, uses the Living Conditions Monitoring Survey for 2015. And SAMOD, the South African model, uses the Living Conditions Survey 2014-15. And of the six models, SAMOD is the eldest, it's 11 years old. Um, the, all the other models are one or two years old, and so there is, they're, they're still being, we're still getting to know them and, and the results that, that they're yielding. Um, we simulate the cash benefits in each of these six countries, certain number of the in-kind benefits, social insurance contributions, direct taxes, um, in the, the form of um, employment taxes, the personal income tax, and simplified taxes or turnover taxes. And for indirect taxes, we simulate value-added tax and excise duty on a selected number of items relating to alcohol, tobacco, and fuel. In the process of pulling the, the, the six African countries to, together to, to look across them, um, we've encountered a range of data and simulation challenges and we're preparing a technical note um, with our observations and also recommendations for, for future steps for harmonizing the models. It's inevitably an iterative process with such young models. Um, but we've identified a lack of comparative subpopulation variables and consistent category definitions for av available variables. We've been able to generate a, a small subset of harmonized variables, but there's more that can be done on that. Consumption data is not included in SAMOD um, underpinning the data set. And though it is available in the Ethiopian um, input data, we're unsure about its quality, so it's excluded for those two countries. Um, in the implementation of the, the, when we simulate the benefits, we assume full take-up of benefits, um, whereas in practice, of course, there's not necessarily full take-up in the countries, and there's also restricted rollouts where um, there may be many more people who would, in principle, be eligible for the rules, but they're it's only rolled out in certain parts of the country. And we've taken that into account to a certain extent in Mozambique, but not in the other countries. And the countries each have um, country-specific uprating indices. Um, um, as a general rule, income-related monetary data is uprated using the consumer price index to a common 2015 time point. Um, but in some countries, that um, um, subsets of, of income variables were um, uprated using s components of the CPI or um, earnings inflation indices. Equivalent scales vary across the countries and the poverty lines vary across the countries. And so we had to make decisions as to how we were going to look at these six countries in, in a common way. There's also a paucity of external statistics for validation, but um, on the South Mount, uh website page, there are links to the country reports for each of these six countries where um, that validation data that we were able to obtain is compared against the, the simulated data. We considered um, 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 poverty and inequality with using a range of different applied income concepts. We use original income, which takes into account employment income, self-employment income, including farming and other market incomes look at disposable income, which in addition adds simulated benefits in cash and kind and deducts the direct taxes and social insurance contributions. And then post-fiscal income, which additionally deducts the indirect taxes, so the expenditure on the VAT and excise duty. And we also look at consumption. The six countries across the board are a very young average age is um, um, ranging from Mozambique 
um, with the lowest to South Africa with the highest average household size of four to five people and very young populations with Mozambique having almost half of its population aged 0 to 14. So we ran these models um, having undertaken a fair degree of harmonizing um, and um, we're able to look at these different income concepts across the six different countries. This first slide of results shows quintile shares and mean and median incomes using the disposable income concept. And we see, um, again, I should stress this assumes full take up of the benefits and also full compliance with the, with the tax. Um, arrangements. Um, South Africa has the highest mean and median disposable income and Mozambique has the lowest mean and median income. You can see it's incredibly skewed towards the fifth quintile. All extremely unequal countries in, in terms of the distribution of disposable income. This next slide um, provides poverty rates using different income thresholds for the six countries. Um, we use the $1.9 a day that we heard about um, um, discussions about the, this morning and the prospects of being able to reduce that to zero. Um, but also the um, lower middle income and upper middle income um, New World Bank um, poverty thresholds are 3.2 and $5.5 per day. Um, uh, we've um, harmonized them all by implementing per capita um, 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 equivalent scales, but down at the bottom, um, the NES, the penultimate row, shows the national equivalent scale and the national poverty lines um, for, for, the, for the different countries. Um, and at the bottom, there's the World Development Indicators published um, consumption poverty rates, um, which are reassuringly similar for the four countries shown. Um, if we break down the income concepts um, just using the $1.9 per day poverty threshold, um, we, we have a striking finding that in all countries apart from South Africa, um, if you move from original income to disposable income, or from original income to post-fiscal income, poverty stays roughly the same or, in fact, increases. In contrast, in South Africa, poverty plummets as a result of the tax and benefit system. And I think this is a very interesting and important finding for us to reflect on. Looking at inequality, um, it's slightly more positive. For in all countries, inequality reduces when you look from original income to disposable income. Um, but um, there's a strange exception in Mozambique where um, inequality um, um, increases from original income through to post-fiscal <coughs> income using the Gini coefficient, um, thanks to um, the, the role of, of VAT, it seems. So I'm assuming I have very few very small amount of, of time remaining. Um, just two concluding slides. Um, we've seen that with the exception of South Africa, poverty rates using the $1.9 per capita per day threshold appear to be largely unaffected by the tax and benefit arrangements. In some respects, this is unsurprising. As we know, for example, overall in, in Africa, I, the ILO has identified that only 18% of people in Africa are covered by one or more social protection benefit. And we know that the benefit amounts are very narrow in their coverage and they're usually um, um, very small in amount. Um, but, it's a, but it's a sobering discovery um, um, and one that will change because of... Um, um, and innovations such as, as Remy has been talking about of the progressive rollout and increase of these benefit amounts. In contrast, income inequality is reduced by the tax and benefit arrangements in each country if you compare <coughs> original income with disposable income. But most interestingly, one of the, I think, very interesting points also is that income inequality is higher than in 
South Africa in all five comparator countries, whether one uses original income, disposable income, or post-fiscal income. We're used to hearing about South Africa as one of the most unequal countries in, in the world. Um, here, these preliminary findings are suggesting if you use these income concepts, then um, income is extremely unequal. Um, um, in, in, the, in these other countries. Um, the use of the Euromod software as a common platform has enabled us to apply common concepts and terminology across countries, which is a very powerful resource for us all as researchers to have access to. There is much more to be done to hone the comparability of the country models and to take into account issues such as compliance levels and take up and roll out of benefits. There's much more to be done as well to scrutinize the quality of the underpinning data, especially the income data, because we are at the mercy of the quality of the income data when we're looking at these um, poverty and inequality measures. But overall, SouthMod um, models do provide a very good basis for exploring and potentially improving the tax benefit systems in these six African countries. There's a great, meal, great deal more to be done. Thank you.